last thing I like to say is that, you know, as the selection of leaders begin to happen, whosoever that is going to make those decisions, one of the most important things is to ensure that every leader that is going to head the Department of Government, whether it's at the ministerial level, they are setting expectations. First, will be the technical knowledge of that particular mandate. Let's assume it's Ministry of Health. You want to put somebody that the person must be able to be a first class, you know, technical, you know, solid person who has experience in that particular sector. That's the first thing. The second thing is visionary leaders. Vision becomes component of it. So you might be a technical person, I don't have vision. And that's a problem. So you must have those who are visionary. You must have those who have hunger for service. There's passion for service. People are, they can't sleep until service is done. You need those type of people with a sense of urgency. Look, Nigerians don't, they are tired of waiting. They want a sense of urgency in getting things done. So we need leaders who will create a sense of urgency, who know their job, and those who also know how to work with teams in getting the job done because nobody can do it alone. And then you have people who have an aversion for materialism. People who are not interested in materialism. People who are interested in service. Because it is the passion for materialism that has destroyed our system. So a lot of people come in and they see uh, political leadership as an opportunity to become wealthy and build great houses and all of that. And at the end of the day, they would earn riches, but they are not wealthy. They are not wealthy at the end of the day. That's the most unfortunate thing. And then after three years, you see them on the, at the airport alone, with the working alone in their little, little groups. Is it, can't we learn from history? What we are simply saying is that we want leaders who can create value. And that's why the National Leadership Conference is very important for this nation at this time. And every, I've already said, every one person who has built an organization, you want it to be sustained. This conference, you must send your people to the leadership conference Friday, Saturday, and then see the results. And if we sustain that, we'll be able to make the values and impact necessary.